hey guys welcome back to my channel to my old subscribers you guys are welcome and if you know you are coming across my channel for the very first time or you are seeing this face on your screen for the very first time my name is francisca i'm from nigeria but i work in oman as a housemate so thank you for clicking on my videos and if you know you have not subscribed to this channel please do me well to subscribe turn on the notifications so that you will be the first to be notified whenever i post a new video on my channel also like share okay like share and comment so on my channel i talk about house stuff just about myself and all that good stuff that you need to see on this channel so it's a channel of positivity okay no negativity on my channel and i don't welcome negative comments okay so whenever you are dropping a comment let it be a positive comment on the comment section so on today's video i will talking about being loyal and honest as a house made so without not too much talk let's just dive right into this video <music> We're talking about be loyal, be honest, and all that cool stuff. First of all, what motivates me to this doing this video is a video I watched where a boss was pranking his uh his should I say his servant is one of his or rather five of his worker. So he was pranking them. At first, there was a bucket he placed on the he placed three buckets on the floor. So one was one was a bucket with money. So when he opened the bucket, it was only three people that picked the money that was in the bucket then the second bucket was full of poo like poo he heaped it with poo then the third one was iphone like five iphones that he bought for the five of them so anyone that can pass through the test to the end they will get the iphone but whoever that doesn't pass this test will be like uh will not get the iphone yes so ever that does not pass the test will not get the iphone so the first bucket was full of money and three people picked it like i said earlier now then the other one was full of poo so when they go to that when one of these boys when they opened the bucket so one of the boys was so angry he was so upset that the boss uh, like put a poo for them to put their hand inside so his reaction was totally wrong for me his reaction was totally wrong because he went too far fighting with his boss so if you know and mind you is his boss is a prankster so i know a lot of people know him his name is untouchable comedy yeah so the boy was so hungry and he was so upset that the boss put a pool for them to put their hand this side. So what he was trying to tell his boss was that, mm, why will you be packing us with pool? Is it because we are working for you? Why will you be doing us like this? Why will you be treating us like that? It's not fair. It's not that. This boy was already upset because he did not pick the money at first. Then come to the next uh, bucket, it was pool and he was so angry that he could not hold his temper. Now, I saw a comment on the comment section where someone was saying, eh, You wouldn't have, because they are working for you, does not mean you should be packing there with poo. If you want to reward them, reward them. If you don't want to reward them, just let it go. Why are you doing such thing? It's not fair. It's not this, it's not that. Now, for my own point, is that, like what I see from that video, is that the boys are supposed to understand that their boss is a prankster. Like, they should expect anything from him anytime soon don't just feel like uh, everything good comes easy yes nothing good comes easy first of all nothing good comes easy and patient the boy was not patient enough he even fought with the boss and told the boss he's no longer working with him that he want to pack out of the house so when he went inside to pack the things the boss opened the third bucket and four boys were able to get the phone the other phone the boss took it away from him that he cannot he cannot give him the phone because he was not patient enough and he asked him to leave because the boy already said he's going to leave the house so if you were the one on that position what are you going to do will you be so loyal will you be so humble to experience such thing or will you just react over over it like uh i can't take this anymore what is this what is that or just be like ah boss i don't like this kind of boss and they don't like this so boss and they like so which part will you play as a role? what will you do as a person are you will you be the type that will like fight back as your boss and tell your boss why will you do this to me why will you do that to me or you will just overlook this and say anything he like he does 
uh, or you want just you just want to be honest and loyal despite that they put proof for you to put your hand inside will you want to overlook things or do you think that the boy was not patient enough to wait for the boss to complete the tax that was because there was still one bucket there that has not yet been opened but it's just the second one that he put his hands on he was so angry but for me i saw that his anger was coming from the first bucket because he could not pick the money that was in the first bucket so i think because of that he transferred that anger to put in his hand in his pool or maybe he has already been having that uh, brief for his boss in his heart because the boss was not doing much doing much like what he expected before coming to his house to come and work because most people once they are going to someone's house to go and work they are going there with so much expectation of which is very wrong you don't go you don't go to work for someone and be having too much expectations on your head putting so uh, like high expectations of wanting much from your boss it does not work out that way not everybody has the art of giving freely. Some people want you to work hard for whatsoever they want to give to you. Some people want you to even sweat. Even if they know that they can just give you this thing and say, take and go. It won't even take a pinch out of their skin or out of their body. But they still want you to suffer for it. So when you're going to work for someone, don't put too much expectations. Because at the end, you start facing the reality of life or you start getting disappointed over the things that you least expected from that person you will feel hurt you will feel betrayed you will feel heartbroken so don't take too much of expectations into going to work for someone i don't advise that because when you take too much of expectations into going to work for someone you will stay long in that place trust me you won't stay long there any little thing they do you will get upset you will get angry because your expectations are so high so try and bring your expectations low don't feel like uh, when you are going to someone's house to work like everything there you will be in control whatsoever you want you will get it or maybe because you know that that person is very rich or it's not everybody that is rich that is that kind of open to give out no the person might be giving outside that but you you are working for it the person is also paying you so you just have to stay calm so what do you think really i don't want to talk much about that my videos to be too long as well so what do you think do you think that the guy overreacted or the guy should have been patient enough instead of fighting with his boss and say that he wants to pack the things and leave the house or should have just overlooked and and let go this is the this is working there so what do you think drop your comment in the comment section if you are the type that will also react let me know if you are the type that will just be like i don't care you just want to let things go back also let me know that in the comment section and i hope you love and enjoy this video if you do so please don't forget to subscribe and also share this video and like as well remember to turn on that bell notification very very important to hmm, turn it on so that you'll be the first to be notified whenever i post a new video on my channel thank you guys for watching and see you in my next video bye